Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we're from Club Sapphire. So you had a good idea for a video. I did? You did, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it happens sometimes. <laughs> well, you wanted to talk... What? <laughs> I don't know, that was a little negative. Oh. It happens sometimes. <laughs> no, you have you have amazing ideas because you're an amazing person. Aww, yes, yes. <laughs> so what did you want to talk about? Well, um, someone, I, I was reading about a question that someone asked. Can you compliment your partner too much, either during play or in the evening? Too much. And I'm not talking about your partner partner. I'm talking about the person you're with. You're playing. So, yeah, your okay. playmate. So, okay. you know, you're in the back and you're getting it on. And maybe you're all four of you are on the same bed or within earshot of each other. And you're just very complimentary, complimenting them over and over and over again about whatever. Oh, my God, it feels good. Oh, my God, you're so hot. Oh, my God. Oh, blah, 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 whatever. Is, is there too many, can you go overboard with the compliments? Well, I want to hear your answer first, because I think my answer and your answer are going to be two very different things. <laughs> um, I do think that I, I get awkward a little bit with compliments. Okay. Uh, I never know how to respond to them. Right. Uh, thank you, or oh, thanks, yeah, you look really good too. Like, <laughs> I, I just, I never know mm -hmm. how to respond, especially more so during sex. Um, okay. you know, how am I, when, when someone says, oh man, that is so great. Then I'm like, cool. Thanks. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't necessarily. Cool face. <laughs> That's so hot. I don't know. I'm, oh I'm my just, God. I'm fucking joking, you is so obviously. hot. Cool. Thanks. Obviously I'm joking, oh. but it, it just, it's, I, I get awkward with compliments. Okay. Um, so for me, if someone was complimenting me over and over and over again, I might not feel that it's truly genuine. Mm -hmm. I might feel that I, I don't know how to respond to. Am I supposed to now compliment you every single time you compliment me? Uh, so I I tend to get awkward. Um, so that's me. What about you? Well, I see why you brought up this this idea to have this conversation to begin with because <laughs> it's like it's it's this. I'm totally the opposite. Yeah. Totally, totally opposite. You could you could compliment me. Constantly, even if you don't even mean it, and, I, <laughs> and I'd, be, I'd be okay with that. And and honestly, I've I mean, there's been times that literally women have come up to me that I might not be particularly connected with, and like I wouldn't be particularly attracted to, or whatever it might be. But they're just like Matt. I'm so attracted to you. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. Let's go in the back. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and because why is that? Because your love language. That's because it's my yeah, love language. Yeah. Words of affirmation. So Mine's gifts. No. <laughs> so kidding. So, Don't bring me shit. So buy me things. He <laughs> no. says. No. Oh wait. Oh, wait. Uh, just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you're not just kidding. That, that actually is yours. <laughs> no, it is. But it's also acts of service. <laughs> right. So, well, that, that's interesting. To no. <laughs> oh, will you service me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Stop. I'm kidding. Wow. That's that's. <laughs> you want to get into Bianca's panties, bring her gifts, and say, I will service you. <laughs> wow. Oh, wear a tux, too. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> uh, well, this is easy. This is right, easy. right. Okay. I'm easy. <laughs> you, you're, you're pretty easy. That, that, okay. Huh. That, that, those are the secrets to Bianca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you think, though, that if, if you were or maybe for other people out there. Is there a point where if someone was, if we were in a group situation, yeah. and let's say a guy was complimenting me yeah. over and over and over again, different things, hopefully, it's not the same thing over and over. Your boobs are so big, your boobs are so great. Da, da, da. You know, hopefully I have something Wait, else to say. Wait, your boobs are me. so big and your boobs are so great are two different compliments. I know, that's okay. what I'm saying. But They're not the same. Anyways, my point is. Your boobs are great, by the way. At some point, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Your boobs are so big, too. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. Go ahead. At some point... Well, you don't like that, that compliment. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay, go, 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 go. At some point, would that <laughs> kind of piss you off or annoy you or take you out of the... The, what you're doing Oh, with interesting. Your okay, well, let's see. From my perspective, someone who loves compliments, if, because I love compliments so much that if someone is complimenting you from my perspective, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I love compliments. I love giving compliments. Like I love receiving compliments. I love other people giving other people okay. compliments. So I, I don't think I would take that in any negative uh, fact 
character whatsoever. Okay. Would you on the opposite side? Because it's complimenting you. Because words of affirmation are not important to you. Right. I kind of feel like I was thinking about this while you were saying that. If mm -hmm. someone were to just sit there and compliment you over and over and over, mm -hmm. I'd kind of just be like, oh, thank God someone's doing it. <laughs> I can't figure out a reason to compliment him, so somebody else did. Perfect. They're going to fill up your love cup, and I won't have to do it for a couple of days. <laughs> That's right. You guys are made for each other for the next 15 minutes. Just, yes. just go to town. Um, no, I think I think because of the nature of what we do for our hobby, right? Being uh -huh. a lifestyle. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's, it warms my heart when someone brings you happiness sure. you know so yeah. i if i heard someone just fawning over you like oh you're so great you're so great i think i'd be like awesome that's cool like i know that she's making him happy right now so mm -hmm. for me it would be great but what if we were both people who words of affirmation were at the bottom of our list well words of affirmation is at the bottom of your list so that, that that's true so but but compersion which is a factor in the lifestyle of you are happy that I'm happy. Right. And or you're happy that I'm enjoying myself and I'm enjoying myself when someone compliments me in the same way that I find it adorable when somebody does come and they're like, look, Bianca, I brought you a bottle of wine or whatever it might be. I brought you this gift of a mermaid thing mm -hmm. because people do that all the time because mm -hmm. you talk about it and you love those things so much and you happen to like gifts mm -hmm. that, that when you, somebody brings you that, you're like, oh my God, I love it so much. And that brings me joy, even though I, I don't care about uh, you know gifts as far as in that same vein that you do. You don't so, feel jealousy that you didn't get a gift? No. Do you feel jealous when someone compliments me? No. Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying. Well, no, I'm this, just is, like... this is good. This is good we're having this conversation because this, this is very eye-opening. Yeah. And, and, you know, and actually to back up a bit, if you're not familiar with the five love languages, it was like a book that was written, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago. Um, and we just read it for the first time probably eh, five years ago yeah. or so. And it was totally eye-opening because it's like just talks about just different ways that you can have relationships with people and what they like and what they don't particularly I, like. And it has enhanced our relationship so much because I feel like we understand each other better and we understand how to show love to each other. Yeah. Well, so so adding on to that and what we're talking about in lifestyle, what would be like the five the five lust languages? The five what do you mean? Well, five love languages, languages of uh, of of uh, swinging. Because because the, because I personally am someone who loves compliments. Yeah. So if someone literally was Oh my God, Matt, your dick is so big. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. It's the biggest, you know, it, no, okay, well, maybe, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> you've heard it before. Uh, but if, it, you know, that is something that, like, I appreciate yeah. quite a bit. Where in the same vein as you love gifts and acts of service, right. that if, if you, you know, that is kind of a, a key, a, a shortcut into, you know, connecting with you better. Right. Uh, where, where, like, I, like I actually said at the beginning, like literally, there have been women that I haven't been particularly attracted to that are like, Matt, you're so hot, or whatever. That I, that instantly to me is just like the hottest thing ever when yeah. someone does that. Yeah. Where in that same vein, that probably, you know, I, I would even guess the numerous times that men over the years have come to the club or come and met you at a uh, on a cruise ship or whatever it might be, and are in a tux because you've specifically said you love that. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, that's an act of service sure. that they're giving you. Sure. And yes, you're attracted to tux and all that, but you saw that they actually did something for you, yeah. and that is more attractive to you. Yeah. So, so when I when I come back and I say, you know, what are the the five less languages? You know, well, so I also think like an act of service too. I've had guys offer to go grab me a drink from the bar. Mm -hmm. That's an act of service. And do you like that? I love that. I yeah. think that's great. It's you noticing that my drink is empty and I might need something else. It's it's taking notice of the surroundings and what's going to make me more comfortable and happy. And okay, so I think so that's really sweet. so for at, at the club wherever. Okay, so an act of service would be what? What would be the things that would 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 that would do like a little I just bit said, like you said just someone and getting another grabbing a drink, drink or um yeah okay that, that's uh. that's a t like or you know if you're like do you want me to grab you some food uh -huh. or something okay. like that or you know you're done with your plates and they go throw it away for you so you don't have to get up and walk oh okay just as an act of service because okay. I'm always in heels. <laughs> sure, sure, but I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to come up. No, with no, no, and, and those ways. are things that you appreciate yeah. because it is an act of service, something that you are very attracted to. Yeah. In the same way, with the words of affirmation, if someone were just coming up and complimenting right. me, I'm just going to eat that up. Yeah. Okay. So what else do we have? We have those two. We have oh, well, gift giving, of yeah. course. So yeah, I mean, in those situations that people have, 
you know, brought you little mermaid things. I mean, but, mm-hmm. but, you know, or. Well, that's not a typical but, thing that I would think that you would really do in a club situation or if you don't know um, people. If you don't like, know people, you wouldn't. You but uh, but I, I think, I think you could kind of coincide that with, um, you know, acts of service and like gifts as far as like, I brought you a drink. <laughs> I brought you, it's all about the drink. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I uh, mean, I don't know. Uh, 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 well, no, you know, I think. If I went and got myself so, some cheese. Here, I brought some for you. I think in that situation, if, if, if I'm a stranger, I'm a strange guy. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, I, and we're, <laughs> we're talking and I, and I say to you, you know, what's your favorite drink? Mm-hmm. And then you tell me mm-hmm. and I, and I said, okay, I'm going to go get it for you. Mm-hmm. That is well. That is an act of service, but it's also a gift. Sure, yeah, it is absolutely. a gift, 100%. and 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 you would receive that as a gift, and right. you would you would be a bit more attracted to that yeah. person. Okay, yeah. all right, and then let's see what else we got. So we've got uh, we're we're missing two. We've got oh, we've got uh, touch, touch, physical touch. Yeah, that's okay. another big one with you. That, that's my other one. Yeah, uh, be, yeah, and uh, just being a massage therapist for years, and I just have always loved touch and and that that it's just one of those things that like. You know, yeah, I, but I've, but, and I've all, we said as a man, men aren't complimented as much as women are, you know, uh, and men also aren't touched as much. And so, you know, but there's been many times where there's been situations here or wherever it might be where a woman will, you know, put her, put her hand on my arm or whatever it might be, or on my leg, which is super hot or something. Mm-hmm. And I notice that. Mm-hmm. I'm sure any guy would, yeah. but that's that's the same type of thing. Like that's a big thing to me is physical touch. Yeah. And so, um, you know, if someone's if someone's less language is uh, physical touch, then you know that th- those little types of things. Uh, oftentimes, like when we we're like we're going to the Westport event, like I'll I will bring the massage table <laughs> because I love to massage women, yeah. and and you know, and it's of course great foreplay and all that kind this of stuff. One. No, I don't massage I you. I don't get massage. No, but I'll, I'll pet your arm occasionally. Oh, lucky me. So he brings a massage table if anybody wants to give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, too. Look at that. Like two birds, one stone. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, touch is, touch is yeah. very important to me as well. And yeah. so that's... Well, and that's I think touch is important to a lot of people within the lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the last one, of course, is quality, quality time. time. Well, yes. oh, yeah. So uh, quality time is just the concept of you know just being around somebody which i think quality time like here at the club Mm -hmm. could be a conversation where you're giving them your full attention maybe you're in one of the booths with the high back somewhere a little bit quieter uh, or the vip lounge or somewhere where you can get a little bit quieter and give them that quality time have a conversation with your hopeful partner you know and really get to know them a little bit before you go to the back interesting interesting and quality I, time you could also check off you know a little bit of touch uh-huh. some compliments uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so a couple of birds one stone but that's interesting <laughs> I, I would i would tend to think that someone who is very attracted to quality time would like the one-on-one even i'm not mm-hmm. talking about specifically the sex i'm talking about just yeah bring them into mm-hmm. corner and just you know just having a great conversation mm-hmm. and focusing on them without being the distraction of everything around you, other people, other mm-hmm. couples, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever's going on on the dance floor, whatever's going on on the back, just having that quality time before you head out to the, head into the back. Wow, this is actually useful stuff. Look yeah, at us, look, look at, at us. us. Being helpful, helpful. sometimes. <laughs> huh. Yeah, no, I think, I think these are actually really good ideas. Yeah. So I think the key is to go online and take the test and figure out what your, what your, love languages languages and what your partner's love language is and get to know it maybe go read the book do some research really figure out what makes you happy what makes Mm -hmm. you feel loved and then try and bring that in i mean we try and bring that even into our business Mm -hmm. um with customers with clients and Uh customers and that kind Uh of stuff you know we've had our children read the book so we've we learned how they feel love and and so it's it's something that you can use for every aspect of your life. But, but using it the in the lifestyle, I think this could get you a little more action. A little more action, but a little faster <laughs> action. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. But, but not just more action, not faster action, but better connections. Better, oh, with, uh, with yeah, sure. People that you're with, which is is nice. I mean, yeah, sure. Everybody. Wants the better to connection wham, you have bam, with thank someone, you, ma'am, but a nice connection is great as well. Well, the better connection you have with someone, the better the sex is going to be. Absolutely. I mean, we've said it many times, and it's 100% true. Yeah. 100% true. Yeah. Uh, And uh, and good connections make good sex, so Mm -hmm. why don't we all just make good connections and have good sex? I love it. Yeah. Mm. Good plan. (laughs) <laughs> okay. And with that, make sure you go to www.clubsapphire.net. Mm-hmm. Check out all the amazing events that are coming up and where you can connect with people. Because yeah. that's kind of the goal of this whole place. Uh, <laughs> and see what uh, cool costume events are coming up. And if you're, you know, you're going to go to Westport, come and 
say hi. Yeah, we'll be there. All that. No, actually, we'll be videotaping, and if someone is brave enough to come on camera, we'll gladly interview them, too. Yes. So, so just let us know. Come find our room. Find yep. our room. Okay, yep. perfect. All right, anything else you want to say? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.